Well, now that we've uh, got a bear down, I can finally show you guys uh, how to do basic field skinning job. And we've still got to pack this bear a couple miles back to the truck. So, uh, yeah, and it's real, it's like four o'clock in the morning right now. So I want to get it done quickly and uh, be able to keep the meat clean and everything and uh, still be able to do a mount or a rug or whatever Nick decides to do with this bear. All right, so my first cut is gonna be right from the butthole all the way up the middle of the chest. And I'll start and kind of pull his tail back and it's gross, but you gotta do it. And I'll just put it just inside the butthole and start working my way up. And there's different ways of doing it. Um, this one I'll just cut, you can either cut to one side or the other, or the testicles, or cut right down the middle. It doesn't really matter. But you'll just ease your way up. Always cutting, always sliding the knife blade under the skin and cutting out, because if you cut down, then you'll, uh, you'll end up cutting hair off. And just take your time and you want to try not to make too ragged cuts. If you're some bear, some bears, your knife will just slide right up. This one's a little being a little tougher. Take it right up the middle of his chest. And get it up to yeah, about the bottom of his throat there, or the top of his throat, whichever way you're looking at it. And then that leaves all this for the taxidermist. If you cut through this lip, then even on a rug, they have to, you know, it makes it tougher for them to hide that when they mount the bottom of the lip. So that's that cut. What you'll do is you'll cut from the back of the pad straight up the back of the leg. I usually cut just on the inside of the back of the leg. You can kind of see where this, this thinner hair on his inner thigh is, and that's pretty normal. You just kind of follow where the, the hairline, where the hair gets thick and meet up with that cut um, that you start right at his butthole. And you do that on both hind legs. To do starting at the back leg, I'll work down. And kind of just stay just on the inside of the back edge of the leg kind of right on the edge of that hairline. I'm just gonna take it right down here. and I connect it up with that cut. Then I'll just go ahead and do the same on the other leg. All right, now what I'll do is I'll make the uh, cut from the chest down to the elbow, and you don't wanna get down in the armpit much. You wanna just kinda take a straight line from the elbow up to there. And so I'll just kinda eyeball it.
to the elbow there. And then I'll take it straight down the back of the leg to the paw. And then I'll just do the same thing on the other one. Uh, in the field, I usually just cut the bear's feet off. Um, it's real. It takes like 30 seconds a pop, and uh, it's not as big a pain as skinning the feet out. And I just do that later. All right, now that we've got all the cuts made and this bear started to open up, I'll show you how to uh, cut these feet off. Um, you don't need a saw or anything; just a little razor knife or a pocket knife or whatever you're using to skin it with will work fine. Um, you basically, you just want to cut all the tendons that hold this joint, this ankle joint on and uh, the foot will pop off and I don't have it skinned very far on this side but you'll just work your way around and cut those tendons and whatnot and that whole foot will just come off. It really is pretty quick. Skin back around the foot and, uh, and now I'll just take this Achilles joint. And you can just start gently working your knife through the tendons. You don't have to saw on it real hard and dull your blade when you hit those tendons. They'll pop pretty easy. It's been a few months since I skinned one of these. And you just work your way all the way around that ankle joint. And I might be able to break it off now. Just like that. Now I can skin that foot at my leisure back at home. And, uh, and you just go, you do that for both hind feet and then you separate the, the wrist joints at the same, the same way, basically just at the wrists and leave the front paws in them. And you don't have to do any cutting on the side of the foot or seeing guys go kind of around here to get the hide back, you don't need to do it. And that's how I do it. Not It's not the only way, but it works for me. Get all your leg cuts and belly cuts made, you start just peeling that bear. And I usually will get them peeled as far as I can on each side, roll them on one side skin the rest of that side out, cut the meat off, roll them back over to the other side, skin that side, and then uh, generally I'll cut off the head right at the atlas joint and leave the head in the hide for packing it out. And uh, it really doesn't take very long. And... <laughs>